Welcome to my madness, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be taking a look at a quick little kit bash that I threw together. I want to show you what I've got and give you the recipe for this guy right here. Of course, this is Magnus Robot Fighter from Valiant Comics, also Gold Key Comics. Now, I actually really liked Valiant Comics. I was a big fan of it. And when it comes to this character in particular, I actually read the Gold Key Comics from back in the late 60s, early 70s before Valiant Comics came out. So I was actually familiar with this character. I already liked this character. And a good friend of mine, Collector Express, is sending me a custom that he made of Solar Man of the Atom from also Valiant Comics. And I thought, well, I can't have him be the only one on my shelf. Let's start seeing if I can uh, kind of build up a little bit of a Marvel Legends sized, you know, Valiant Comics character roster for a little Valiant Comics shelf in my in my collection. So, uh, Magnus being my favorite character from Valiant Comics, I, I, I wanted to see if I could throw him together and I wanted to see if I could do it with as little paint and customization as possible, mostly just kit bashing. And I think I was able to pull off a pretty good recipe with this, but just to take a look at him, I think he came out looking pretty good, pretty basic, pretty simple. And obviously there are some differences here and I do wanna show you what he looks like compared to what he's supposed to look like, at least in his original costume, original form from the comics. I wanna throw a picture up on the screen here real quick. So you can clearly see there are differences here between this guy and the way he's supposed to look in the comics. And a lot of that was just me wanting to make this as quick and simple as possible. Obviously the main difference between his original comic version and this is he's not wearing a mini skirt. Um, I can think of the comics, they call it a toga, but let's be honest, it's a mini skirt. He's got bare legs and a mini skirt. And while if I could have had an easy way to get that look, I would have gone that route. There just wasn't an easy, simple way to do it without a lot of modifications to get a, a skirt and bare legs that were going to work properly and all that kind of stuff. So I decided to give him more of a bodysuit look, but that retains the original look and still, in my opinion, makes him look undeniably like Magnus the Robot Fighter. So, um, you know, I, I decided to go with this. Now, just to uh, go over kind of the recipe here that I went with, uh, so first of all, the main body is this uh, Magneto from Age of Apocalypse. So that's the main body from the knees all the way up to the neck and then going out to the shoulder pegs as well. Then I took this version of Magneto and used the legs from the knees down. And then for the arms, I actually went with Legion here. And you'll notice that all the figures I used are very easy figures to get a hold of. This Age of Apocalypse wave and that, you know, white version of Magneto, those are not expensive figures. You can find them all the time on the secondary market, really, really cheap out of the package. So uh, it was a good inexpensive way to put this figure together without spending a whole lot of money. And I think it came out pretty good. Now, Obviously the head here, most of you will recognize that. This is the uh, Peter Parker head from the Renew Your Vowels 2 pack. I did originally want to go with this uh, Doctor Doom head from the Secret Wars 2 pack, but there were two issues with it. One, he, he just looks too old here. And in the comics, Magnus is supposed to be about 25 years old. And two, it was just slightly too big. Like, I mean, it would have worked but it looked just a little too big for my taste. Personally, I thought this looked much better. And then of course, uh, we have the belt, which I got from the uh, latest Black Panther that came out here, what, six, eight months ago in that Black Panther wave. And uh, I just took the belt off of him. And then this is really the only custom paint work I did on it, which was I painted the belt itself, uh, just put a little white there on the belt and then I actually made a decal on my printer of the M because I knew there was no way I was going to be able to paint the M perfectly so I made that little decal put it on there and then sealed it up with some clear coat and there you have it that is pretty much it um, I think it looks great obviously it is not completely comic accurate but certainly gives that appearance between you know the red and the belt and even the boots that have this kind of v in them much like the original character does yeah he doesn't have the mini skirt but i actually like him better without the mini skirt 
But uh, I think this is a great little kit bash. If you're looking to put together kind of uh, maybe a little display of Valiant characters, because there just aren't a lot of these figures out there. And I love Valiant comics. I love these characters. And there's just nobody making figures for this outside of we do get that one three zero uh, bloodshot, which I have and is a great figure, but he's also true six inch scale, so he doesn't look really good next to kind of that six and a half inch Marvel Legends scale figure. So anyway, that is it. Would love to hear what you guys think in the comment section down below. Let me know. Thank you guys for watching and always remember to enjoy your collection.